God. <laughs> the That's... King Sisters, the original King Sisters. Yeah, I'm the baby of six girls and two boys. Really? Really. When did you, when did you, how did you get started with the King Sisters, first of all? Well, uh, I was a mistake. <laughs> what, what, come on, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I was the eighth child, but I was born a lot later. All the kids were two years apart, and the mother and daddy didn't know why, what caused babies. <laughs> eight, you were the eighth? How many kids did you? Eight kids. Eight kids. So you're the last, so you're I the baby. I came along a lot later. My sisters were starting their career. Right. And I was a little baby. And uh, when they went with Horace Hyatt, and then they formed their own orchestra with Alvino Ray and right. started recording with RCA Victor, as each sister got pregnant and married, I mean married and pregnant, right. <laughs> I substituted for them. I started subbing when I was like six. The original? That's, that's the four that, that were on television. On television, and yes. And they recorded with Capitol. Uh -huh. and did all the nightclubs and you Vegas. You had your own, te own television show for a long time. The King Family Show. The King Family Show. What yeah. a great show that was. I'm looking at the, look at this. I am just looking right now. This is my father as a young man with my seven brothers and sisters before I was born. He was a music teacher. Uh -huh. And he uh, had a vaudeville act. So when he wasn't teaching school, he took all the kids and mother into little towns, put up a poster on a tree, uh -huh. and found a concert hall and said, I'm and doing a concert tonight. Is that exactly what that? Yeah, and he taught them all how to look play. Look at this, look at this and one right grew here. Into... Look at this, look. <laughs> Where are you there? I'm right there. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. That's you my at little that girl. Picture? And that's... When you look at that picture, Marilyn, what do you think about when you see a whole family there? Well, a wholesome family, too. I, it was, and we still are. You still are. There's still four sisters left. Look uh -huh. at the back page here. No, the oh, back. Oh, the back page. The very back. Uh huh. That's. Oh, this one right here. Yeah. Oh my God, this is the original family. Now look at them. That's the eight brothers and sisters, and their many children at that time. Wow. Where was this taken in the Maryland? That was on, on the, the show? Uh, on McCall's magazine. It was a big story. Oh, great. Remember McCall's? Yes, of course. Family, family magazine. That's you right. Along right there. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I substituted for the King Sisters in my last year of high school. Uh -huh. Alvino Ray took me out of school, much to my dismay, because I loved school, uh -huh. and took me on the road with the bad musicians. Really? <laughs> I did three years of one-nighters with Alvino Ray. With Alvino Ray. And okay. we did our own, uh, we had a TV show in San Francisco. In fact, we won an Emmy in 1951. Really? You were in San Francisco having your own television yeah, show? Yeah, I was then. singing at the St. Francis Hotel with Alvina's big band, and uh -huh. then we did a TV show once a week. In the meantime, Daddy taught me opera and wanted me to... Uh, be an opera singer? He wanted me to be a musical Broadway right. star. But you did Broadway. You did musical well, much comedies. Later. Yeah, but you did a lot of good ones. I, Gypsy? How about Gypsy? I did Hello, Dolly, the lead. Uh huh. And I did Guys and Dolls in New York. I did the lead. Did you really? I did Sarah, the Salvation Army, Army girl. Yeah, I got right. to sing, if I were a bell, I got to sing, you know, she was supposed to be drunk in Havana. Yeah, right, the Salvation <laughs> Army lady. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was fun, probably, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was great. Looking back over your career, Marilyn, with all your sisters and your family, what goes through your mind today? Because you've lost several. I've lost two brothers and two sisters, but the oldest sister is still alive. She's 95. She's 95. And the two middle sisters here. Let's see. These two. Vani and I are Bonnie. still alive. We lost Louise and Alice. Oh, these two. Those two are gone. I see. But Vani and Donna and uh -huh. Maxine and myself, we're still kicking. Vani's in Sacramento. She's uh, 86. And Donna's going to move to Dallas, uh -huh. and she's 87. Does you all get together and do things together to sing? Uh, not to as much now, but we always did. I always did, yeah. We always really were ridiculously emotional about holidays. That's why we did all those King Family Holiday specials. Right. Because in real life, we would get together for Fourth of July, for birthdays. And for Christmas. Christmas. Christmas is the most important for the King sisters. Yeah. Like Bing Crosby. We had our uh, King family Christmas shows all right. 
all the time, and uh -huh. um, we exchanged gifts. Uh -huh. We still do. Uh -huh. Those of us that are around. <laughs> I want to show a clip of my audience to my audience okay. about. Uh, I think this is uh, from your. I think Milton Berle's. This doing is from the Hollywood Palace, and this is on uh, Vine Street, the Hollywood Palace, right? Right. That was on ABC Network once a week. Uh huh. It was an hour show, and they had it was wonderful. They had all the big stars, a big yes, forty-piece orchestra, right. and this was my first television debut uh -huh. uh, with Milton Berle as the host. Well, let's on the see. Hollywood it. Palace Orchestra. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Marks the first solo appearance in the Hollywood Palace of one of the outstanding members of the very, very famous King family. So ladies and gentlemen, on a real Hollywood Palace reception for the very, very lovely and talented Miss Marilyn King. <laughs> And that <laughs> gown is that uh that's got to be bob uh is bob mackey bob mackey and uh, the coat was ostrich 
lined in sequins, and I still have it. You still have it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's molting. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Marilyn King, uh, Jukebox Saturday Night. Uh, this was, uh, you were performing at this wonderful place. It was a little tiny resort town north of Sacramento uh -huh. called Paradise, and it's it's like an hour and a half north of Sacramento, but it's buttes and it's canyons like the Grand Canyon, uh -huh. only with pine mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. And they're very artsy town, big mansions, and people come from all over, and it's a beautiful little theater, mm -hmm. and it was just marvelous, an 18-piece orchestra. When your sisters, when you were all together uh, in the dressing rooms oh. before you're going on, oh, dear. What, was it a lot of uh, chattering around, Karen? Oh, it was so bad that I, we finally asked if we could have separate dressing rooms. Really? Yeah, the only time we would fight was when we were working. Really? Yeah. Like the Evely brothers, Phil and Socially, John, we got along great. Uh -huh. But... Uh, did you guys used to go out a lot? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Togetherness? Yes. Oh, okay. We, we were each other's best friends. I thought you might friends. just do your show. Oh, and just no, 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 no. We did everything. We went to dinner. We went ha have parties. Our husbands all got along with each now, other. Now, who did you marry, darling? Well, I was, I've been married three times. You've been married three times? Yes, they okay. all died. They all died? I, I didn't Every, kill them. Really? No. I, I was this married This is to one of them. I, Kent I Larson, right here, I'll uh, show you. Here, I was. love, I, yeah, I just see it back here. He was the lead trombone with uh, Stan Kenton, for, and then he was the This King one right Tom. here? No, that's Bob Clark. That Bob Clark. Alice's husband, the actor. Oh, okay. This is Kent. That's your husband, <clears throat> huh? Yeah, he... Was one of he was right a record there. producer at Capitol. He produced Steve Martin. Uh huh. And uh, good looking guy. He sang great. And so he, Jennifer, your daughter Jennifer, is this father of this. One. That's right. I see. And Did then you? Suzanne and Adam from and, were and from my first husband. First husband. Who was your first husband? Howard Lloyd. He was in the films. He was uh, actually sold the reruns, the first reruns off of all the major television shows, right, syndication. Right. How about your children? And then, you then I married Dalton Smith after Kent died, uh -huh. and Dalton Smith was the lead trumpet player with Stan Kent and the mm -hmm. studio musician. You love jazz, don't you? I do. I jazz still sing is, it. That's, that, I know you do. You worked the Catalina. This is when you were just at the Catalina here in Hollywood. I was doing a tribute to the King With your sisters, daughters. With Look. two of my daughters and then Susanna and Jenny, uh -huh. and uh, Sue Allen, who is a studio wonderful singer, uh -huh. sang with the Pied Pipers at every movie. You seem happy on stage. Oh, you we have ha fun. You ha you're happy, aren't you, Marilyn? Yeah, I'm when happy. When you're on that stage. Yeah, you're a happy lady anyway. Uh, I'm very optimistic. I'm going to be at uh, doing jazz next week. How many grandchildren? Where next week? I'll be at Baroni's. Oh, that's at Baroni's in, Bear, in, uh, in the Sherman Valley. Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks. That room is picking up a lot of great entertainers. Jazz well, it's and, a new room. It's uh -huh. the old restaurant, but they moved to a new location there uh -huh. at, uh, at Woodman and Oxnard. In, and it's been open since, I think, uh, the first of the year. That guy who's playing for you is... Uh, Ed Vodica. He's Ed Vodica. marvelous. He's from Chicago. Uh -huh. He was a child genius on the pipe organ uh -huh. And he, in fact, he plays at the El Capitan once Here a week. Here in Hollywood? Yep. Uh -huh. And he's a great jazz player. And he he played for Anita O'Day and all the big we artists. We just lost Anita O'Day. And she was one of the greats. I've interviewed her several times. I used she, to imitate her. Did you? In fact, on my CD. This is your CD. Uh-huh. And it's out now. Solo and, Flight. And uh, it's called Solo F Fight, huh? Flight? Yep. Okay. And you can get that on my web. Uh-huh. Which is WWE. Yeah, well, we don't have to say it. We just can't do it right Oh, we here. can't? All no, right. but we can get it. Yeah. Marilyn King, I want to know one thing about uh, you as a jazz singer. You like jazz, you swing, but you, jazz is your main thing, isn't it? It's my love. Uh, my father did teach classical piano right. and voice. Right. And my brother brought me home Ella Fitzgerald and Anita O'Day records and June Christie and Stan Kenton. Right. So I got confused and I started singing everything. So I started doing impressions. That's the only way I could get a solo with the King Sisters. You do impressions, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. And on my right. CD, I, I do uh, Anita O'Day. I do... Uh, Ethel Merman, Carol Channing, Louis Armstrong, Judy Garland, really? and uh, Sarah Judy Vaughan. Judy Garland and Sarah Vaughan. Sarah Vaughan is a very difficult one to do, darling. I love her. She's great, isn't she? So I, I really didn't discover who I was until after I 
I had sung with the King Sisters for many years. Right. And I finally started singing like me, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm singing the tunes that I love, and I, I learned from a wonderful pianist, Dick Shreve, sing something that thrills you, and then you will thrill the, the audience. audience. That's, that's a good one, yeah. yeah. This is your family. That's This my, is your grandchildren. My seven grandchildren. Seven grandchildren. Can we get a close-up of that real good? <laughs> They're can. all gorgeous. Look how cute they are. They're really the King's family, huh? A Marilyn King's family. Yeah. They're Are they all, all talented, you say? All talented. They all play instruments, all sing. Uh -huh. And they're athletes, too. Uh, that's great. Marilyn yeah. King, let me see. You brought another clip. Who is this clip about? Well, this clip is I had my own TV show for a while on Metro Media. Right. And this is uh, I'm Shy from Once Upon a Mattress, the song that made Carol Burnett famous. Famous, right. So this is my little rendition. I saw it on Broadway, off Broadway. Of I'm Shy. Okay, good. That's it. All right. Got mine. I've always been shy. I'm shy. I confess it. I'm shy. Can you guess that this confident air is a mask that I wear because I'm shy? And you can be sure way down deep I'm demure though some people I know might deny it at bottom I'm quiet and pure you know I can remember my first date it was so ridiculous I did everything wrong now this is my boyfriend and we're gonna go over to the restaurant and the waiter will be over there so come on follow me what just ridiculous Let it go. Oh, I missed the strip uh, Well, we, you missed the strip I do a strip tease. I want to say the strip tease. You got to go You got to go back. No. No. too shy to be in a crowd I'm much too shy to wear anything loud my bashfulness I just can't lose much when I wear open toed shoes I find it very rude and uncouth when people speak of the naked truth I'm too introverted for people to see hey 
What am I doing on your knee, Uncle Alvino? <laughs> And horribly shy. I'm shy. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> wow. Of course, that was Alex Plaschett in my outfit doing the cartwheels across the street. That was at the Merv Griffith Theater? Yeah, on Vine. On Vine. Oh, I see. I right. thought it was... The, he was the, a that. stunt man, so ah. that's... He, they, they didn't even get a cop <laughs> to clear the traffic. He they just didn't? went in front of the traffic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me about the King Sisters. When, what year when they retired, actually, all of them? Well, um... Because I know uh, you continued on, but what Well, year? we... Uh, I believe it was 1986. We did a, a tour back in um, Florida. Mm -hmm. And um, that was about the last time. We did a big tour in 1984 all over the United mm -hmm. States. Uh, but Vonnie and Alice decided they didn't want to sing anymore. So Louise brought in my daughter, Jenny, who was only 18, and uh -huh. Sue Allen, and we did this big Remember tour. Remember that wonderful supper club in Palm Springs? There was that wonderful supper club. I'm sure you've worked it. I do, but I can't remember uh, the name. That was, it'll come to me, but yeah. that was my favorite. <laughs> we worked the Copa. The Copa, yeah. In New York and, yeah. and all, of course, Vegas and Tahoe. We did. You did all of them, right? We did everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah I know. And working with Ray Anthony, working with Harry James's band. Les I Brown. Tell me, Les Brown, all these great bands. Harry James, first of all, tell me. Well, I you. dated Harry for one year. You did? Where was, where was Betty Grable? She would passed away. Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay, after. after. Yes. He liked blondes anyway, didn't he? Yes, and Phil Harris introduced us, and he was just a marvelous man. He sent me flowers and took me to lovely restaurants, and he was and really James? fun. James? Harry James, yeah, yeah. he was. He was a sweet and guy. How, and I love this other Phil Harris guy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is he funny? Yeah. I told you what I should have said at Anita O'Day's uh, memorial. Yeah, we went to the Anita O'Day's thing, uh, right. Phil Harris told me... He said, you know, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> the way he was it. carried on. Right. Yeah. And I got to sing with Les Brown and, and uh, Freddie Martin for a oh, while. Freddie Martin. I had a crush on Merv Griffin before I knew he was gay. He, was he gay? I don't know. Is he? Yeah, they I say think he so. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. You're well, I, had a, I had a crush. I, I didn't say it. Marilyn I had a crush it. on Rock Hudson, too, so what do <laughs> well, I know? Well, that everybody knows, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn King, you are just a great lady, and I love you. What's exciting right now in your life? What are you going to be doing? Well. you're always working. Mm -hmm. I'm always working, and I, I love up? it. I've got to, I have to get my, there used to be Save on Drugstore. I don't know what it They're is They're around now. the corner, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I hope he's back. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be at uh, doing a salute to Glenn Miller and Jean Krupa with a big orchestra and a lot of stars. Where is that going to be? That's going to be at the Norris Theater in Rolling Hills, which is near Palos Verdes, January right. 20th. Uh, March 4th, I'm going to be at the Civic Arts Plaza in Thousand Oaks with Gary Collins and Marianne Mobley. I and the, love those two people. The Modernaires and Butch Stone. Where, where, are they gonna, where is that going to be? That's Thousand gonna, Oaks. That, I mean, what March day? March 4th. March, I'm going to record that. I love Marianne And March 7th, I'm going to be in Palm Desert at the McCallum Theater with... That's another great... Salute thing. to Glenn Miller and big band vocalist with Ed McMahon. <laughs> Still around. The Modernaires, Butch Stone, Mary uh -huh. Lou uh, Metzger, Tex Benneke. Uh -huh. March 4th, I'm going to be with the London Sisters and Friends and Escondido at the uh -huh. Center for F Arts uh, uh -huh. with the Ink Spots right, and right. Bobby and Elaine. And April 1st, I'm going to be with the London Sisters and Friends at Citrus College, Hal Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. and on and on. Well, you got a lot there. What is, looking back, what has been the hardest for Marilyn King? Well, uh, the loss of two husbands that I loved very dearly. As I said, I didn't kill them. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you did love them both. I did. And um, 
just continuing performing uh, while we were on television. Mm -hmm. All of my children were on the show with us. So they, when we would tour, when we weren't doing television, right. we would travel on a bus with the King family and do concerts all over the mm -hmm. United States. But we'd have to take a babysitter, a California Board of Education it's, teacher. Right. And the kids had to go to school on the bus. Mm -hmm. And that was hard, packing up yeah, three yeah. kids. I had to take a nanny with me and a babysitter. Would you do it the same way again now? Oh, Marilyn? sure. You would? Oh, yeah. We uh, stopped at every wonderful museum. We stopped and had picnics in great a education. creek. Great education. Right. A you creek and uh, somewhere in Arkansas, it uh -huh. said, do not enter. And so we took the sign down and drove the bus up picnic by the river. And a picnic. <laughs> and I love it. We went and got ribs downtown, some uh -huh. little town in, in uh, Tennessee. And we. We, uh, they opened up Niagara Falls for us, turned the lights on at 2 a.m. We woke up all the little kids and said, come on, we're going to see the falls. Oh, how great. We, we just, we really had a so wonderful time. So you day. enjoyed your life about the book, about a book. Come on. I'm writing it now. Right You're now. writing it? It's, I'm, 10 years I've been writing it. But you got to do it now, Marilyn. <clears throat> I know. It's got to go out there now because it's. People well, say Daddy, they're writing it, writing it, and just... Daddy uh, was a gypsy. He, he mm -hmm. would take us camping at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. He'd say, come on, we're going to the mountains. Can I hear that music? I love to hear that music while the credits are rolling. Not the picture. Is it a picture? or No, just, it's it's me it's, live at Catalina's oh, Bar and Grill. Oh, at the Catalina Grill, Bar and recently. Grill? Yes. Okay, just show it if you want to show it. Go ahead. Beautiful melody from some enchantment. 